Hey, my name is Vanessa Joy or Sarah Connor today, apparently, and I'm going to show you how to take pictures of your kids on the beach, hopefully without pissing them off. Nope, don't watch this video. Well, you can watch it in a second, but first, if you feel like making any money at photography, let me tell you about Wirestock. If you've ever been interested, like I have, about selling your video, photography, illustrations, or vector in stock, but didn't want it to take so much time adding in all those keywords and descriptions, Wirestock helps you out with a process called Easy Submission, which helps you describe and tag all your photos without you doing the work for free. No fees, no subscriptions. They make money when you do by helping you submit your art to the biggest stock libraries there are, such as Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, 123RF, Alamy, Dreams Time, Deposit Photos, and Pond5, all from a single account. Wirestock has higher than the standard royalty rates when you're comparing all the other services out there. Wirestock recently launched mobile apps for iOS and Android devices, so us creators can earn with our mobile content even easier. You can get started right away with Wirestock. I just finished making an account and uploading my first 100 photos in the time it took to set up this light. So head to bit.ly forward slash joy Wirestock and experience for yourself the easiest way to get your art on the largest stock websites and more. Back to the video. I am shooting with the Canon EOS M50 Mark II. Now I do wish I had the R7 or the R10, uh, but it's coming next week, so this is what I got. I got three different oh, lenses. Oh, your little feeties would burn. I'm shooting with three different lenses. I've got a 22, a 32, and then this zoom, which is probably the one I'm gonna use the most. It is a variable aperture. So to make my life easy, I'm keeping everything on aperture priority. Aperture priority will just help me not have to think about the fact that my aperture is gonna change. There is sand in your shoes. And uh, clearly I got other stuff to worry about. So gonna not worry about what my camera's doing. I'm gonna worry about you. What? <laughs> this looks cool. I'm going to change my lens and take a picture of you guys here. I just want the 32 on because I can go down to 1.2 and get all this like cool bokeh. All right, sun's coming from that direction ish. So, guys, let's get more of a natural reflector off the sidewalk here. Liz, I want to see that four leaf clover, okay? Okay. Go on aperture priority because, you know, life is easy then. <laughs> Beach hair. All right, let me see it. Hold it right there. Can you look down at it and play, play with it? With two hands, play with it. Look at me again. That was cool. Go like this with your hair, like mess up your hair. <laughs> You're so cute. I can't. Cool. Can you go walk over there? Like walk to that tree. Cool. All right, and then turn around and walk back, Liz. Walk towards me, but real slow. Pretend you're on the balance beam. Cool. Hey, Judah. I don't wanna do you don't want to do one? Okay, fine. Let's go. I'm just gonna change my lens again. This one's cool for portraits, but I know there's like a cool walk up here, so I'm gonna just change it so I can get like the whole beach and sky and all that. Pro tip: don't get your gear in sand. All right, cool. Let's go see the beach. Hey guys, this is gonna be such a cool bridge. Can you hold hands while you walk up the bridge? Oh, you know what would be cool, guys? Can you jump for me? Do you know how to, if I say one, two, three, can you jump? All right, all right, go ahead, walk a little bit more, walk like five more steps, and then ready? All right, stay there, and take a step towards Judah, and Judah, take a step Move to the right, guys. There you go, cool. There you go. And then, okay, ready? On three, we're gonna do a cool jump. Are you ready? Okay, I think you're ready. I'm stalling so I can get to a faster shutter speed. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> you're gonna do it one more time, but do me a favor, go to the top of the hill. The top of the hill is the coolest. Yeah, right there. Good, Judah. Aw. My kids, not fighting for like six seconds. All right, now don't hold hands. And then when I count to three, you're gonna jump with your hands up in the air all crazy. Are you ready? One, two, three. 
<laughs> Perfect, guys. <laughs> that was so cool. Are you ready to go see the beach? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I've been ready, woman. Go Do you want to run? Yeah. Go ahead, run to the beach. Go, have fun. Run, go, 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 go find Hayden and Lisbon. Go, run. They're like, <laughs> run, miss. So cute. The thing with beaches, it's always about the horizon line. It's like fighting it not going through anybody's head. So you either gotta get high or you gotta get down low. Ooh, the sand is hot. It's worse when you walk. <laughs> is it fun? That is the warmest ocean water I've ever felt. I know. <laughs> Can you sit right here and show me your shells? Turn around. No, don't look at the ocean. All right, just look down. Where are you going, bud? All right, I need you to do one more for me and then we'll be all done. All right, you want to hold your shells? All right, I need you to go over there. Walk that way. Judah, you stay by me. Good. See, go ahead, walk back. Good, now bend down, pick up a shell. Yeah, pick up a shell. You see any? Good. Can you splash water at me when the water comes? Get your hair out of your face. <laughs> Perfect, good job. Judah, wanna splash? You wanna splash me? Yeah. Ready for the water? Ready and splash. Thank God for fast shutter speeds because that's all I got between their moving and me shaking. Now the problem with being an aperture a priori or my exposures are all over the place. They're kind of just going up and down depending on where my focus is. But the thing is with this camera, if you're shooting in raw, you don't have to worry about it so much. So it's kind of like choose your battles. Do you want to put it in aperture priority and let the camera work for you? Or do you want to put it in manual and constantly have to adjust yourself? Over. I ended up switching to a different lens. I don't know if you can hear me. I got the 32 1.4. It's definitely a little bit smoother and also uh, just nice having a static, <laughs> nice having a static aperture. So suffice it to say, there's a reason I'm not a kid photographer uh, and the reason I don't really go to the beach that much because I don't really like it. If you're gonna photograph your kids at the beach, I highly suggest having somebody there that is actually gonna watch a kid. So like while you're photographing one, the other one's not drowning. That would be very helpful, I think, to the situation. It was also really hard to see because it's super bright out. So looking through the EVF is definitely helpful and you can't really do it with sunglasses. So just, We'll see what we got in here. If I get a few good pictures that I can play with, then you know what, I'm happy and I feel like it's a success. So thanks so much for watching, even though uh, this is not the best example of children's photography anywhere, but I hope it's a practical one that if you're a mom, you can just try some of these ideas and go ahead and photograph your own kids. So I hope it was fun and I will uh, see you next time, bye.